So a very commonly known estate planning document is a will. Most people know that you need a will, but people may not understand exactly what a will is. So today I'm going to answer that question for you. What is a will? So a will is a document where you get to say who gets what parts of your property and who is in charge of distributing those assets. The person who you place in charge according to your will is your executor or your personal representative. And the people who receive your assets upon your death are your heirs or your beneficiaries. It's important to note that a will does not apply to property where you have a joint surviving owner. So example, two spouses who together own a home. If one person dies, then the other person, the, the co-owner essentially just gets ownership of the house. And a will does not also not apply where you have a living beneficiary designated. And that arises mostly in a life insurance context. So if you have a term or a whole life insurance policy, you will have named beneficiaries under that policy. And upon your death, the um, policy will pay out to the beneficiaries who are named in the life insurance policy, not according to what may be stated in your will. However, um, you want to make sure that all of those documents, your will and your insurance policies are all in sync so that you are sure that everything is working together according to your wishes. Uh, also for property passing under a will, it's important to note that it has to go through the probate process. Um, many people believe that having a will will avoid the whole court um, hassle, and unfortunately it does not. A will is basically sets out what you would like to have happen, but ultimately it's the judge who reviews that and then has to enter an order approving the will and authorizing your personal representative to go ahead and carry everything out. But before they can do that, they have to pay any creditors who may have come calling when they get news of your death. And so the personal representative or the executor will be appointed by the judge once it goes through the approval process. And then the personal representative has access to your assets, which they then use to pay any creditors. And then after that, will pay remaining funds to the beneficiaries or the heirs under the terms of your will. So while a will is a very important estate planning document to have, there are other documents available that will help you avoid the court process and giving you extra security and assurances that things are going to happen according to the way you want them to.